What's up? This is uh, Tarek. So earlier this week, Wahoo announced the acquisition of the virtual cycling platform RGT Cycling, now called Wahoo RGT, and also announced the launch of Wahoo X subscription service. So a pretty big move by Wahoo and a clear sign that Wahoo is working hard to solidify its position in the indoor cycling app space. As probably many of you know, Wahoo has been the leader when it comes to smart bike trainers for many years. Every cycling app made sure their app worked with Wahoo Bike Trainers before any other brand. But in addition to their smart bike trainers, in the summer of 2019, Wahoo made their first move to enter the indoor cycling app scene. And before we go any further, if you find this video helpful, I would appreciate it if you quickly hit that like button. It helps the channel and the video quite a bit and I really appreciate it. So. In the summer of 2019, around the same time we started hearing rumors of Zwift possibly going into the hardware business, Wahoo made their first move and acquired the third biggest indoor cycling app at the time, the Sufferfest, and rebranded it to Wahoo System. Wahoo System is a training platform for cyclists and triathletes that offers personalized workout paired with video-based cycling content, pro rides, and on-location video content on top of that, they also offer yoga, strength, and mental training. All can be integrated into customizable training plans, which you can create to help plan out your training season. So now we have learned that in addition to their acquisition of the Sufferfest, now Wahoo System, Wahoo has now acquired another indoor cycling app. Some people might be wondering why do they need another indoor app when they already have one? Well, RGT is quite a bit different from Wahoo's system. RGT is a virtual cycling platform with virtual routes that are based on real world locations. Wahoo RGT gives you a lot of flexibility to select which route to ride on at any given day. You can also create your own group rides, events, and races, and invite others to join you. Also, in addition to the current routes they already have, you can create your own route that is based on your own GPS data. So if you have a specific route or let's say you have an event that you are training for and want to recreate and ride that route indoors, you can simply upload the GPS data and RGT will create what's called a magic road that is based on the GPS data you uploaded. Once a route is created, you can ride it yourself or schedule events and invite others to ride that route with you. Wahoo RGT also has a library of workout that you can choose from. You can also sync training peaks and import your structured workout of the day from there. Wahoo RGT claims to have the best cycling physics of any cycling app out there and they released their real cycling physics V2 engine or RCP as they call it last summer. Basically, it's how realistic the game looks. The leaning into corners, the braking as you come into sharp turns, the drafting, etc. But I believe the best part of their real cycling physics is, and this is according to RGT, all the physics calculations happen server side, meaning your position, your movement, the draft you benefit from, and the draft other receive are calculated on RGT servers rather than locally on your device. So basically, what you see on your device should be exactly what everyone else riding with you is seeing, where other apps usually do these calculations locally on your machine. So what you are seeing might be a little different than what others uh, are seeing. Haven't verified this yet myself, but that's what RGT claims, and I think it's pretty cool. You can clearly see Wahoo has been working on this acquisition for quite a while, as all the Wahoo and system branding is already all over RGT app. Wahoo also announced its launch of Wahoo X, which is a new subscription service that combines everything together with one single sign-on and one single subscription. You'll have access to all the features and content for both Wahoo System and Wahoo RGT. The new single sign-on on Wahoo accounts will also work across other Wahoo products and touch points, including the Element Companion app, Wahoo Fitness and WahooFitness.com. I think it's pretty cool and ingenuitive that Wahoo was able to combine both of these apps into a single sign-on behind the scenes before announcing it to the public. I like how they are creating a multi-dimensional app subscription model by combining two popular apps together under one subscription, and it's becoming almost like an app store for cycling. Are they going to be the new Netflix of cycling apps? Wahoo and Chill? Can we 
maybe share passwords? Wahoo is offering the new Wahoo X bundle subscription for $14.99 per month or $129 per year. That is the same price as the previous standalone system subscription. But now, for one subscription, you'll get access to both structured training system offers and the virtual cycling and racing RGT offers. So this is all good if you happen to have a system membership, but how about RGT members and what about the freemium option RGT used to offer? RGT cycling used to cost $10 per month, so about $5 cheaper than the current Wahoo X subscription. However, if you go with the annual Wahoo X subscription, basically it will cost you around $10.75 per month. So only 75 cents more and you get access to both apps not a bad deal at all. Now, if you had an active RGT subscription through Apple or Google, your subscription will get upgraded to Wahoo X and you will continue to pay that $9.99 per month until September 1st. After that, your subscription will increase to the standard Wahoo X subscription price, which is $14.99 per month. Now, if you had a subscription through the RGT website, pay attention because it's a little confusing here. Your subscription will not auto renew, but it will remain active through May 31st. If you resubscribe through the website before June 30th, your subscription price will continue to be at $9.99 per month until September 1st before increasing to the $14.99 per month. Okay, so what about the freemium option? I have good news for you. According to Wahoo, and I confirmed that with my sources at Wahoo, it will remain free and will carry over to both platforms. So you will have access to limited content on RGT and system. You will also have access to system for DP FTP uh, test, which in my opinion is huge because I think it's one of the best FTP tests any apps offer. Okay, I believe this acquisition makes Wahoo a real contender in the cycling app space. RGT resembles Zwift in a lot of areas. They listened to what most Zwifters complained about and looked at areas that Zwift ignored and made it better in their app, such as building routes that are based on real locations rather than imaginary gamified worlds, the ability to create your own routes, the ability to select any route you want rather than being limited to only a few worlds, better group writing dynamics and physics. But that was clearly not enough to lure people away from Zwift because every time I used RGT in the past, it was me with a handful of other riders. It will be interesting to see if Wahoo's name and marketing budget are enough to steal some of the market shares from Zwift, but it's going to be more interesting to see how Zwift responds to this. I would love to know what you think Let's chat in the comment. Okay, hope you find this video helpful. Remember to hit the like button. And if you are still watching and have not subscribed yet, then you know what to do. Thank you guys for watching and see you in the next video.